Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Grandma June. I thought you were sound asleep. We didn't mean to wake you. Oh, don't worry, Lionel. You didn't wake me. That's great. I made sure that I set the alarm clock this time around. You're not leaving me out of the loop for breakfast this morning. Well, just make sure you don't eat too much this morning. We all know how that stomach of yours can get. Pardon me. I'm not understanding, son. Well, mother dear, I'm just saying that we can't have you running back and forth to the bathroom blowing the whole damn house up again. You just wait one damn minute, mister. I wouldn't eat this damn food if it was the last supper. You know how much I hate your northern cooking. Northern cooking? What the hell is that? I what never heard mean, such a what thing. Is it? We all know that you people up north can't cook good old-fashioned southern food anyway. First of all, it's not southern food or northern food. It's breakfast. Now eat. Enough! That's it. I have had it with you two going back and forth at each other's throats every day. Mom, do you realize what day it is? This is a very important day for Lionel. Not really, Sheila. Think really hard, Mom. I told you about this the other day while we was at the mall shopping. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. It's my favorite day. Family Feud will be on all day on TV land. They're running a marathon all week long. No, Mom, I'm not talking about Family Feud on TV land. I'm talking about my baby's big promotion at work. That's right, baby cakes. I'm the man. Promotion? Oh, what happened? Gary Coleman wasn't available. Did you say, Gary Coleman? Yep. Those people must be pretty damn desperate over there at the Alan Shades place. That's Alan Shields, not Alan Shades. Oh, whatever. And by the way, it's a promotion, not a role in a TV sitcom. I can't tell. It seems like they're hiring a bunch of damn characters anyway. What makes you think I didn't deserve this promotion anyway, freeloader? Miss, I haven't paid a single damn bill in this house since I moved in. I don't know, Lionel. Maybe it's because you only made it past the 10th grade. And I do contribute to this house, Marty. You had to go there, huh? Yep, I had to go there. And I'm staying there. Well, the last time I heard. The only promotion your son ever received was a free week stay down at the Crackhead Recovery Center, and that was a big jump for him. Just wait one damn minute, you. My son hasn't smoked crack in three weeks. Three whole weeks. Wow, that's a long time. But if I'm a guessing man, I still won't leave him unattending to at my house. Hell, he'll probably steal everything in this damn house. You, low down, snake in the grass. Son Would of you a, calm down? You know what? Lionel's just joking, that's all. For your information, pal, my son has been recovering quite well at this point. So mind your damn business. These kids don't need to hear what my junior is going through. Come on. Everybody knows that your junior's on crack. It's no surprise. You know what, Sheila? What is it, Mom? You guys can just eat breakfast without me. I'm going upstairs to watch my damn family feud. Hold on, Mom. You don't have to go anywhere. Well, I'm not staying down here with this idiot. Idiot, don't you know you stay up under my roof? I'll kick you out my house so fast it'll make your head spin. Lionel, be quiet. Now, Mom. Apologize to Lionel so we can continue this wonderful morning. Okay, son. I apologize. Thanks, Grandma June. I really appreciate the apology. You're welcome, son. Now that your paycheck is bigger, you can get that penis implant that my daughter always wished for. Penis implant? What in the hell is she talking about, Sheila? I have no idea. Mother, stop it now. This is so silly. Sheila, did you tell your mother that? And you better tell the truth, because I'm about three seconds away from tearing up shit in this goddamn house. Well, uh... Well, uh, my ass. What are you trying to say, Sheila? Are you trying to embarrass me in front of our children? No, I'm not trying to embarrass you, babe. Are you crazy woman? What is it, Sheila? I'm not man enough for you. You know that I love everything about you, sweetheart. 
I was just hoping that maybe one day you could upgrade that worn out Cadillac of yours. Worn out Cadillac? What the hell? You know what I mean, sweetie? You know how men sometimes get when they age. I don't, Sheila. Explain. What's a worn out Cadillac, Mom? Wait a minute, baby girl. This doesn't concern you. Let your mother explain herself. Okay. You know how sometimes people lose a couple of inches in their height when they get older? Yes, I do. Well, things start to shrink up on you guys as the years go by and it's not the height, babe. Well, I'd be damn. Thanks for the inside scoop, Sheila. That really motivates me to go out and be all that I can be this morning, babe. Thanks. You're welcome, babe. He wasn't being serious, Sheila. He was being sarcastic. Oh. Lord how mercy. This is just too damn funny. My son-in-law is coming up short at the goal line every damn play. Sheila, you should have forfeit that game before you said, I do. Mom, that's not nice. I love Lionel. Let me tell you something, you wrinkle up. Gummy mouth, slanted eyed, Mr. Miyagi, looking broad. I'm not going to be disrespected by my wife or your old ass either. You got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a macho man now, huh? Well, I guess i go out today on the town and get me a brand new Cadillac. That's something my daughter haven't seen in a while. Mom, please don't go there. He's my husband for crying out loud. Don't talk to loud, Sheila. I don't want the new neighbors to hear us. I don't want to be the laughing stock of all of L.A. You better get your mom, Sheila, before her ass be out that door behind me. And trust me, I don't mind kicking an old ass humpback raccoon out of here. Oh, whatever. Let's not talk about this now, sweetie. This is your big day and I want you to enjoy it.